Welcome back. Problem 11.14. So statement is rod BC is made up of steel for which yield strength is 300 megapascal and modulus of elasticity E is 200 gigapascal. Knowing that a strain energy of 10 joule must be acquired by the rod when axial load P is applied. Determine the diameter of rod for which the safe factor of safety with respect to permanent deformation is 6. So this is rod BC, load P is applied at one end, the total length is 1.8 meter and this is made up of steel, yield strength is given, modulus of elasticity is given and strain energy for axial load P is given. So what we have to, we have to find this diameter of rod for factor of safety that is equal to 6 with respect to permanent deformation. So let's start and solve this problem. As we we have given factor of safety that is equal to 6 and we also have total strain energy 10 joule for load P. So we will find the uh, uh, we will find the strain energy till yielding because we have given the factor of safety 6 till point of yielding is 60 joule and based on this value we will find the diameter of rod because it is given that diameter of rod for which factor of safety is 6 with respect to permanent deformation okay now we know that uh, strain energy density till point of yielding is equal to sigma yield square divide by 2e you have both sigma yield and e you can just put the value so sigma yield is 3 300 into 10 is power 6 whole square divided by 2 into e e is 200 gigapascal so 200 into 10 is to power 9 and it will give you strain energy density till point of yielding so when you calculate it this is will uh, will will be equal to 225 into 10 to the power 3 joule per cubic meter now we have strain energy density till point of yielding so we know that uh, total strain energy till point of yielding is equal to area into length into strain energy density till point of yielding in our recent our previous problem we have discussed this u is equal to volume into energy density okay total strain energy density per unit volume yeah strain energy density so this volume is equal to a into length into uh, strain energy density so from here you will get a is equal to capital U which is strain energy density till point of yielding divided by L into UY which is strain energy density till point of yielding. So now you have the value this is 60 joule divided by total length is 1.8 meter and this strain energy density is 225 into 10 to the power 3. So when you solve this, you will get the area will be area of that rod will be equal to 148.148 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter. Also, we know that area is equal to pi by 4 d square. 
so from here you can see that d square is equal to 4a divided by pi or this t will be equal to under the root 4 times a divided by pi okay so just put the value this d is equal to 4 multiply by area is 148.148 divided by pi so when you solve it by using calculator you will get time meter is equal to 13.73 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter or you can say diameter is equal to 13.73 millimeter so this will be the diameter of rod cb for the given condition for permanent deformation and for a factor of safety of six i hope you have enjoyed the video subscribe my channel and keep watching thank you